Sky Profit, baby. Back with another video. Hope your day going good. Smile on your face. I hope that when you look around, when you catch your moment and see how you feel, you at peace. You got understanding within yourself. Blessings, guidance and protection, integrity, strength, focus, and understanding. Each individual out there, no exception. Never no exception. <laughs> hey, Spirit say, if you could make it through the night, there's a brighter day. Go look outside and see. Just go look outside and make sure spirit ain't lying to you. That's all you got to do. Another, another time, another chance. You get to walk on this earth. Not walk within and in the same ways that you did as the day change so should you I'm going to say that again as the day change so should you with every tick of that clock your clock tick too until you understand you're not with that clock but until you understand you're not with that clock you're gonna always be with that same ticker consciousness the divine mind it's the divine mind All your actions. It shows a function of the mind. So when you break consciousness down, when you just take it and say, okay, let's look at it. It has all kind of things in there. Some of those things in there is your functions. It's the functions that you teach other individuals. To operate within. All right. Now, correcting yourself, simply fixing a function. It ain't no other way to explain it. See the way you process things. That also is within the consciousness. The way you process things, whether you processing it out of being hateful. Whether you're processing it out of being selfish, whether you're processing it out of love, whether you're caring and you really want, you concerned about whatever it is, that all goes within consciousness. So does mine, so does his, so does her. I don't know his name in the back, but him too, like everybody, everybody. So based on your function. Based on your actions. That's what's going to allow for your, bl your blueprint. You could say. When I say your blueprint. It is a combination of your actions. The way you function as a being. Now Gaia, source, divine energy, has to figure out a way, not figure out a way, I'm just phrasing it like that, has to figure out a way for you to get the lessons and the tests imprinted within you, imprinted within you, okay? So everybody you run across, every individual you've came across, 
this lifetime. Just this lifetime. Is all individuals from your last lifetime. From your last lifetime. Spirits and souls. The same spirits and souls from your last lifetime. Now change is supposed to bring you into remembrance of how to handle a situation. Bring you into remembrance of the good in you. Bring you into remembrance of how you're supposed to look at the next individual as they have God inside of them. And I know there's a lot of talk about, I know there's a lot of talk about, man, God is in some people and God not in other individuals and it's human beings and then it's carbonated beings and all of this, all of this has truth to it. It has truth to it. It has fact to it. But what also has fact to it is that every individual walking on this planet has the ability to change themselves, has the ability to transform themselves into a better individual. No exceptions. It's just no exceptions. When you break it down like that, you put division, you put separation, you put animosities, you put judgments, you put all that back on your table. All of it back on your table. Whoever listening and whoever need to hear this, the information that you run across, even if it seemed tense in some situations, it is for you to come to an understanding of who you are. It's not for you to figure out the next individual and it's sure not for you to try to figure out your plan or your purpose here if you ain't found yourself. That's the first thing you got to understand. There's no doubt about it. The vibration, the frequency is raising on the planet. It's no doubt about that. That's hands down. You got a lot of individuals still pretend. You got a lot of individuals still think that a smile, a go over somebody's head. You still got individuals that think, I don't even want to use the word manipulation, you know, but think that sweet talk carries weight. And we're in the age of information. We just simply in the age of knowing. So when you're gonna be around individuals, understand this, your old ways, that shit is seen so clearly. I'm gonna repeat that for whoever listening, wherever you go, your old ways, them old energies, that shit is seen so clearly. Whether individuals tell it to you or not, every individual, is peeping game for themselves because every individual is trying to find their own lane. Every individual is trying to see just exactly what they was dibbling and dabbling in that wasn't right. Every individual is trying to find that peace of mind, that serenity about themselves, just about themselves. So everybody paying attention to a lot of things. The whole time you was going through things, the whole time you was experiencing not so good moments, the whole time you was encountering individuals that truly couldn't use they thinking right, was all perceptions for you to understand how you supposed to operate how you supposed to operate, all right? 
if you open them eyes. Why not be right? Why not change the old things? Why not embrace the new energies? See, these new energies, it gives you such an advantage. It gives you such an advantage within your moment because spirit is never far away from you. See, used to be, you was all alone out here. That's how it seemed. It's just how it seemed because a lot of individuals just couldn't bring themselves to around the inner standing. Man, look, it don't matter where I'm going or what I'm doing, spirit right here, he trying to get me together. We wasn't thinking like that because when you in your ego, you don't want nobody to tell you shit about what you're doing wrong. And that was the reason for a lot of individuals not going to church, not even embracing that side of things. But you get to see your egotistical side. See, spirit letting you feel how you made other individuals feel. Spirit giving you a taste of some of the things that you've allowed other individuals to experience through your energies. And understand this, man. You're not the vessel. You're not the vessel. Don't beat the vessel up, man. Don't beat the vessel up. You're not the vessel, man. All right? I want you to, I want you to picture this. Imagine this. Now you go and you get you a vessel. Now when your consciousness coming to this vessel, you think your consciousness coming in this vessel with the heart or the heart already in the vessel. It's already in the vessel, huh? It's a function of the vessel. That's the battery for the vessel. So if you're not using your electricity about yourself, your energy about yourself to power up your vessel, make your heart pump right, you're not transforming. You're just simply in the vessel. We all just simply been in the vessel. I know prophet, I'm raising my hand first. I just been in the vessel. I just figured out I was in the vessel. But it calls for me to be honest and be truthful. So a lot of y'all can come around to that understanding and be honest and truthful too. There's no need for me to pretend like I knew nothing that I didn't know. When I say embrace these energies, first-hand experience, man, it makes your reality so much better. It makes the function of your mind so much better. And it helps you find purpose. It just helps you find purpose. Is this all prophets supposed to do? No way. No way. But if you keep opening your eyes and you keep taking a step, keep taking a step, spirit gonna let you know where all you gotta go. All you have to do is keep stepping, keep moving, keep understanding that you within purpose. See, if you within purpose, there's no reason to stop. It's meaningful. Like, well, what, what's the reason for stopping it? You know, it's almost like you saying, I'm going to go build me a shed and you build half of it and you stop. You don't never go back and build nothing. What you got? In the, what you got? You don't even have a half a shed, to be honest with you. All you have is some unfinished business, man. You got some unfinished business. And it could be a million excuses of why that little piece of wood standing up in your backyard. But none of it is going to finish the job, man. None of it going to finish the job. So excuse yourself from excuses. Excuse yourself from excuses, man. If it's hard, it's hard. You got to figure out and understand some things is going to be hard. It's just going to be hard until you understand it. The more you understand it, the easier it becomes. That's for whoever listening. The more you understand it, the easier it becomes. Why wouldn't it? I 
I really wasn't bringing a message today. I went to take me a bath. Spirit whispered a couple of things to me. And I know you just needed to hear it. Somebody needed to hear it. I want you to protect your energy, protect yourself to and from. 